Hey guys, today we are getting ready to head out and use our Houston City Pass again today. But before we do, I am going to whip up some pesto mozzarella steak in our slow cooker. So we're gonna have something yummy to come home to all while having a whole lot of fun. Crack Posse, we are running a little late today. We needed to go get propane gas, so that's where Mike has run to go. We are planning to go back into Houston to use some of our city pass that we showed you. I believe you probably have already seen that footage um, of when we went to the um, NASA uh, or the Space Center, and then we also went to um, the Children's Museum, which was amazing last night before heading to um, a restaurant that that had really good taste if you guys haven't caught on our last name is good and we found a restaurant that was named the good company which was kind of fun but tonight since we ate out last night we definitely want to make sure that we have something cooking in the slow cooker tonight for when we get back um, to you know save the pocketbook so I was looking through this one of my favorite low carb slow cooker cookbooks I like low carb recipes that um, people who eat high carb recipes don't really know that they're low carb like I don't like to use a whole lot of weird ingredients and all that kind of stuff so I'm always looking for that and then usually I use um, the recipes that I find in cookbooks like this and I kind of jump off of it a little bit like this has a few steps in it that I'm not going to do and I'm going to alter the amounts just a little bit to make it fit our taste so what you are going to need for this uh, is the the main ingredient and we are using official Texas beef while we're here um, is um, six round steaks or two pounds of round steak cut into six pieces so that you can kind of have portions because at the end you're going to put fresh mozzarella over the top to kind of melt it which is really really yummy but um so we've got six steaks here uh, round steaks two pounds um, we're going to use a little minced onion and then the star of the show is pesto i think the original um recipe called for a half cup and i'm going to use a full cup and so um what i'm going to do to kind of make this a quick and easy camper kitchen kitchen friendly recipe if i can get this open is i'm going to pour half of this jar in the bottom of my slow cooker give me just a minute i want to stir it up because pesto um separates in the jar and so you want to make sure that you got it nice and mixed up so all pesto is is um garlic um and um basil mainly and pine nuts with a little bit of olive oil usually this looks like it also has um, Parmesan cheese in it, so I'm sure that's going to be yummy. So I'm going to pour half of this jar down into, I'm using the Instant Pot Gem. This is a multi-cooker, not a pressure cooker. I like to use it when we're going to be away from the trailer because I think that it cooks just a little bit cooler than, um, than some of the other slow cookers that I have like my ninja my ninja cooks a little bit hotter so I'm kind of um, putting these steaks down and rubbing the pesto around them because that flavor is gonna really really help um, oh here comes my gas dude I'm the gas dude today <laughs> and so I am just kind of making sure that pesto gets all over these steaks before we go too much further okay and now I'm gonna wash my hands really really quickly just so I can handle some of this other stuff okay so now just to give it a little bit more onion flavor I'm going to use two teaspoons of this minced onion, which is in the original recipe. Okay. 
And then I am going to take um, two, it said two pints, I believe. This is a pound and a half. And, and y'all have to tell me if I'm even close. So I've taken these grape tomatoes and I've rinsed them and I've got about a pound and a half. And I thought that looks good. So I'm gonna pour that over these steaks. A cooked great tomato has a yummy, yummy flavor. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to use the rest of my pesto to kind of drizzle over the top of all of it. The mozzarella doesn't come into play until we get back, and everything's cooked and tender, and then it calls for fresh sliced mozzarella to go over it. This almost has like a caprese kind of flavor to it. Um... If you don't like fresh mozzarella or it's too expensive or it's just something that you're not comfortable with, you could just put, you could just uh, sprinkle shredded mozzarella over the top too. So we've got this going. We're going to, I'm going to set it for low for six hours. We may be gone a little bit longer than that. And if we are, that's okay um, because this will kick to warm and because it's beef, it will cook just fine. Beef does, um, does okay cooking it just a little bit longer usually. So I gotta find my lid. I washed up all kinds of dishes and there we go. Lid is on the Instant Pot and so we are going to go explore the rest of our city pass today. So now you're gonna see that. Today we're headed back to Houston. Yep. Got a couple more or three more spots. We got three places left on our city pass so we're gonna use them up today. We're gonna go to the Museum of Natural Sciences. We're gonna go to the Houston Aquarium and the Fine Arts, and the Fine Arts Museum today. And we're a little artist back there. Yeah, we're got a little artist back there. She she really wants to go to the art museum. I think it's cool. So uh, we're starting to get into Houston traffic, and you can tell because well, Houston traffic is congested. It's about 12:30 their time, and it's like. What rush hour is back home? So Houston. Right. I don't know that it's necessarily traffic. super congested. This wants me to turn, but I don't want to. But, um, it's it's got it's got a lot. It's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm, we're looking at the nav. We got. <laughs> gonna make sure so, we're on the right way. Yeah. So we are going on big adventures today, and we have some yummy um, food cooking for us tonight. I think that is your exit, baby. Six ten. Uh, no, we're gonna go forty C. That is 40C. Oh, then that's where I want to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's coming out. <laughs> so, uh, we picked a very interesting time to uh, uh, record as we're trying to yeah. navigate. But, no, so we are going to check out a couple museums. It is super chilly here. It snowed last night. Well, it, we're sorry, Galveston. Houston. Yeah, we, we, I've been yelled at a couple Galveston. times down here because they said that we brought the cold weather back with us from Indiana. We're, we apologize. We'll try to warm it up for you. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it snowed last night. There was ice on the truck and on like the posts and stuff around the park. And then as you drove up, there was snow on the roofs. Of yeah, some you, of the you drive up the highway. Uh, so, there was snow everywhere up there. So we we're promise sorry. we were here. We're here for the warm weather. Yeah. We don't. We don't want that. But it's still warmer, I think, than it is back home. Right oh, back now. home it's in the twenties. So yeah. It's, it's, it's so. Okay. But meanwhile, that is just gives us more incentive to use our uh, city pass, which we got so we can have some indoor fun. Yeah. So that's kind of what that's kind of what we're up to today. Outdoor wouldn't be too much fun right now. And uh, it's beautiful, but it's, it's cold. Texas. Texas is it's awesome. Cold. <laughs> I think we can officially say by now we have fallen in love with Texas. Yes. And, and we've only seen just a, a yes. drop in the bucket of what Texas has. So. We're going to make the most of it, though, out of the rest of this weekend. We're going to go hit the museums, and then over the weekend, we're going to do some more stuff in Galveston before we head on to San Antonio. Yes. All right, so we just pulled into the big old parking lot, one of a bunch of lots around here, to the Natural Science Museum. There's history museums. There's art museums around here. And it's Friday. So there's lots of field trips which yeah. we didn't think about. There are school buses and people parked everywhere over here. You can see school buses over there. There's a bunch of school buses way over there. 
So, but have we're a still feeling. going for it. We're not alone. <laughs> we're gonna have a good time though. We're, we're really happy though because yeah. it isn't raining. No rain, and it's not freezing cold. Yeah. It's just nippy. So it's like it rained for like the last four days, yeah. I think. So we are like, yay, no rain. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're I gonna. I really go. need to knock on that tree now. Yeah, Eddie wants to knock. <laughs> Eddie wants to knock on wood. A little crowded in here today. That's cool. That's better than that giant virtual. This guy looks like he's having a blast. I have got to try it. I'm being strapped in this giant machine. I don't miss it one bit. is huge and awesome. It's got artifacts from all over the world from different periods. There's Egypt, there's the West, there's the South, there's the Pacific Northwest. There's everywhere. But the problem is I don't know where I'm at. I can't find my wife so I gotta call her now and figure out where she's at so we can meet up. So I got lost in Egypt, ended up in the plains. I don't know where to find you at. The, the front of Egypt? Okay, I'll be there in just a second. Bye bye. I went out the wrong door. They're sitting in the front of Egypt, I'm in the back. So what you guys think of uh, the Museum of Natural Science? Awesome. Pretty cool stuff. Anything from dinosaurs to ancient Egyptian artifacts. And they Pokemon even... gems. Pokemon gems. It's all kinds of stuff down there. And I got lost and I couldn't find Addie's mummy. <laughs> but uh, now we're going to head over to the Museum of Modern Art. Fine Art. Oh, the Museum of Fine Art and get us some culture.
of the art museum. It's nice. I think we especially like the paintings. That mm -hmm. was our favorite part. I don't think either one of us are really art, art people, you know, but we do like the works of Claude Monet, and they had a couple of them there, yeah. so it was really neat. I yes. like cartoons. Addie likes cartoons. You like what? But um, it was neat. But now we are going to head back to the truck. So I guess these stickers are a thing for this post. Everybody's done it. When in Rome, or at least Houston. Do it, girl. Alrighty, we Wait, are. Wait, sorry. Action! <laughs> Hello! We are back, and our pesto steak smells absolutely delicious. So we are going to give it a taste. Um, I'm going to try and grab one of these steaks out of here with, oh yeah, some of the sauce and the tomatoes. I'm going to put a few in here on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I'm also going to put this mozzarella, fresh mozzarella slice. You can use the other if you want, um, shredded if, the, if you're more comfortable with it or if that's what you have on your hand. I'm going to take a little bit more of the sauce and drizzle it over that mozzarella so hopefully it'll start to melt. Heck, I might put another slice on it here later. But I don't know, can they see that? Put mm -hmm. Here, watch this. Now, don't you take my food from me. <laughs> see how easy that was, folks? <laughs> Doesn't it look pretty? We went to the um, the Natural Science Museum today and had a lot of fun there. Um, so for the sake of science, I'm going to take a, a big <laughs> bite of this. Um, we also ended up going to the Fine Arts Museum, which was nearby. Which that plate looks like art. <laughs> but um, because those two things were close together, and then we ran out of time, so we didn't end up going to the museum or the aquarium today. But we did. We had such a good time at, um, particularly at the Natural Science Museum. It was initially packed because there were all kinds of. Um, uh, field trips. I would say um, heads up, Fridays tend to look like the field trip day, but we actually got there like right as most of the kids were leaving, so that ended up being okay. There were exhibits after exhibits after exhibits. I, I think we even missed like whole portions of it, but we explored all day long, so it was definitely a great way to spend this chilly day. Excuse me. This is supposed to be our last chilly day. It's supposed to start warming up. So we're very excited about that. Um, and now I think I've talked long enough that I've let this melt, I hope, so I can cut into it. Part of this is how I'm holding it. Hang on just a second. Let me, oh yeah. If I That's tender. actually use my fork. So I'm going to get a little bit of everything, a little bit of the cheese, the tomato, the beef with the pesto. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. This is so yummy. And apparently very messy when you eat standing up in front of a camera. Very, very yummy. I love the grape tomatoes and how they um, kind of burst when you eat them perfect with the pesto and the steak it just all very much blends very well together I really like this recipe you will be seeing this recipe on the blog and we will be seeing this in our kitchen quite a bit more so I'm hoping to be seeing it sooner would than you that. like to be seeing it soon dear well, I, you know, this is a scientific experiment, so I need to continue to try. I'm going to try one well, more I feel bite. like Pavlov's dog when <laughs> my mouth's watering. Two thumbs up. This one's holding the plate. <laughs> but <clears throat> I feel like I've got stuff all over my face, too. But if you like what you saw today, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like traveling around with us in our camper kitchen and seeing what we get up to throughout the day, and if you are not already a member of the Crop Posse, please click subscribe and you will become a member of our Crop Potting family around here. We sure do love having you guys around. Um, so 
But if you keep watching, we'll keep cooking and all will be well. Bye guys. Now, I'm gonna take this. No!